Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Thursday night. Shmup Book Club. Um, pretty much our last chance uh, for Karis and Shinryu, uh, but we're going to go back to Blue Rush Resurrection Plus tonight. Um, we're going to try this without Auto Guard, which means that having any bombs will not save my life unless I uh, use the bombs manually, which I almost always never do. Uh, let's get connected up to the club. Looks like we're the first ones here. Uh, well, we'll see who else joins tonight. Um, just have to do with the sounds of Bluish Resurrection Plus, since I still have not been able to make it uh, work with both sound and music at once here. Uh, which one do I normally do? I think Peace, right? Is Peace the one I've used? Oh no, Hope. I actually use Hope. Uh, okay. Well, I'll see what we can do here. Um, I doubt we're gonna do any good here, but... not remember what I'm doing. <laughs> Actually, uh, well, in between runs here, we'll turn the, the sound down a little bit, because that's going to get, oh boy, we may as well just go back. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, let's turn that down just a bit. So that's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of clicking and clacking from all the bullets and shit, so uh, auto guard is off. Very good. Alright, uh, and hope. I hope I remember what my bomb button is, but I'm not 100% sure on that either. There, that, you. Oh, uh, oh, we're gonna go for it. <laughs> uh, I didn't go far enough. <laughs> yeah, boy. We'll see how well this goes tonight. I do not have high hopes. Mm, especially if I'm gonna get murdered like that uh, frequently. Already down two lives in the first fucking stage here. We haven't even really begun. Oh boy, make that three. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> oh boy. Rough without auto guard on. Uh, no, do not need to save that garbage fire of a replay. What's okay? That's my normal. I know I have a button that can just rapid fire without me having to tap the focus fire. Oh, careful. Oh, and there was a one that snuck through there. I didn't see it. What's my bomb button? Okay, it's B. <laughs> That'll be maybe important later, who knows. Oh, there was still something there, too. Hmm, how interesting. I'd probably be happy with just getting through maybe stage two. <laughs> the big old fucking maybe. Oh, I got whacked by something there, too. Interesting. How very interesting. Ready to see lots of stage one, I guess. That's really what we're setting ourselves up for. Who knows, maybe we switch to something else if we get tired of getting consistently murdered really early on. Maybe even back to Shien Ryu, even though that's an extremely unfair game at times. Oh yeah, I've been ignoring that one for weeks now. <laughs> Probably for the best, honestly. Did my stage 5 and that was it. Meanwhile, I guess you've managed to clear Carrozza a few more times in the past week. Yeah, yeah. It's 
accidental slight improvements here and there, I guess. Let's see if I can see stage four again today. Is that what you're attempting tonight now, too? Yeah. While it's still in the rotation. I guess this is the very last day. Well, I mean, I guess you have until Monday, but yeah, even still. Oh, okay. It's there. Couldn't have done that there. Major power, real power, max power. <laughs> Not real ultimate power, though. Oh. Missed opportunity. I was trying to figure out which of the enemies in the first formation on stage two is the blinking one. I literally could not tell. Um, I've gotten two different starting formations sometimes. Really? Yeah. Like I've always gotten the same. You mean different blinking ones, or no? Like, I uh, like, like different and this... entirely different formations that come first. Um, Weird. One of them's the far right. I think if you start with a, an X formation, it's the far right. Or if you start with the I four like the... on either side. I always, get... I always get. Yeah, I always get the. Um... Not an X, I would get one that's more of a, uh... Or, uh, not an X, uh... Like polygon a, of some sort. Of the a convex yeah. V or something. I think that's the, um... That one starts, I believe, on the inner... Like, the innermost edge? I don't remember. I feel like I've always got... Like, I, I know that, like, enemy ways can definitely change up depending on how you do on earlier ones, but I feel like the first one, I've, I've never seen the first one be different. Yeah, I don't know. I figured if it was based on how many waves you did in the level before, I would have seen more variation, but usually it's just two of them. Oh, that was the boss. <laughs> I thought that was the mid-boss. Yeah. 
didn't mean to hit that. Oh, oh, we should have run up for that one. I might have gotten the logo there. I didn't realize your uh responding to Mike there. I didn't realize the uh, the hunt was still ongoing. Oh. oh that was a dumb thing for me to do. Uh oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel that one. Ah, well. I feel like this boss usually isn't quite this far down the screen. I'm kinda confused right now. Which stage? Two. Okay, now it's further up. Mm. Oh, yeah, the old crawly bit. Oh, I am in a bad place. Yep. Oh, well. Probably should have milked that for all it was worth, given that I got another refill off of it because I freaking took damage like an idiot. I had potentially gotten a lead on a job from uh, somebody I worked with a few years ago, but uh, the person they had me reach out to, that they also reached out, they reached out by text, I reached out on LinkedIn. The person hasn't responded to either of us, so we're, <laughs> like, I'm almost worried about this guy now. Well, at least it's something, I guess. I mean, if he ever responds. Otherwise, I guess I could just apply cold to it, but I figured, like, using connections would be a better idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh... Alright, that'll work. Okay, I'm gonna move up for that one, I guess. Oh, you're not dead yet. Oh, boy. Back to restarting stage one a bunch. What is the... I've never seen that. I just had a regular power-up thing cycle to a heart, which just gave me health. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've literally never seen that. Yeah, what the hell? pretty rare. I will not miss the RNG aspects of this game. Like, let's take a shmup and put RNG in it. Funny bit is that there's like three different health power ups that do different amounts. Wait, I ha I didn't think I had enough for uh, I didn't think I had a full gauge there. All right, whatever. Like, I never saw the uh, it wasn't I thought it wasn't flashing, and then I never saw the circle thing. So how did I end up with full gauge exactly? Oh, I have plenty of... <laughs> it's not like it's boring doing nothing. I am fine with doing nothing, but I am also not fine with doing nothing. Just in terms of, like, I would rather be extending my mm -hmm. runway, so to speak. I have plenty of things that I can keep myself occupied doing. Although, every so often, with all of the crafting on it, does just get depressing. Oh, there's a bomb there? What the hell? Oh, I fucked that up. I'm actually now in the middle of finally trying to, uh, update my code base for the overlay stuff that I use for my stream, because it has been an unmanageable pile of stuff for years. And it occurred to me that, hey, Astro could probably do this job of what I'm doing here fairly well and actually organize things into components and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it turns out that, like, uh, extracting the pile of whatever it is right now is kind of time-consuming. Hmm. Like, right now it's just two piles, uh, one of client-side and one of server-side TypeScript. That I just, like, use the- use TypeScript's own command to 
build it and run it. Yeah, I made the stupid choice of doing my thing and uh, node backend and then trying to jam webpack over the top of it, which does work, but... <laughs> Well, when you say jam webpack over the top of what you over the back end specifically? Yeah, or... to do the packaging of the back end code. I feel like that's normally not what you like. Oh, it's definitely not really meant for that. that right? <laughs> it's definitely well, not meant for that sort of thing, but I made it work. Also, also, like, I think we need a version of the you chose lemon, you're, you're dead. Uh, oh, image, yeah. But you chose webpack. You chose webpack, yeah. Oh, that tracks for sure. I mostly managed to avoid dealing with webpack configuration in my career, like, by the by the time I was interacting with it, like, it, it was either in instances where it would, would or, had already been done, or, like, it's using stuff like Next.js where, like, there's already a layer over it, so you don't oh, yeah. have to mess yeah, with yeah. too much of it. But also, like, more and more things are using Vite and stuff now, so, like, you don't even have to... Ideally, you don't touch webpack. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a case where I've built it once and just slightly modified it for several projects. Hmm. The, the one wrinkle with this Astra setup... Whoa, wow, I thought I had... I thought I had DFS built and I didn't. Um... Is I'm using... There's a server component because I also use WebSockets to communicate between both sides. And a while ago I had switched from Happy to Fastify for that. And the, the good news is Astro does have a Fastify integration, or like it has a node integration that can run in middleware mode, which you can plug into Fastify. They have mm -hmm, an example mm -hmm. for that. The problem, though, is the dev server. <laughs> like, they don't really have a provision for that. And fortunately, someone has built a... Like, there are not many Astro integrations that cover the dev server, but someone actually made a Fastify integration that does. Um, but for some reason, there's a bug with it that, like, the whatever they're doing, the way they're doing it, you can't really organize your code for it. Like, if you try to load separate modules, it just doesn't resolve them correctly. Uh, huh. I managed to get around that, but I haven't, I haven't done much, like, pressure testing in terms of uh, making sure that it really fully works. Because I think someone else also has a pull request out to uh, try to make it play nicer with the Fastify WebSockets <laughs> plugin <laughs> specifically. So, like, I might run into that problem, too. Oh, man. But yeah, I, I kind of wish that there was a better story around the, the dev side of things with Astro in, ter in terms of like, okay, so you've got these integrations, but like, if you're if if you have this integration with the provision of allowing it to run in middleware mode, as in like recognizing the existence of other node servers that people might want to run on, wouldn't you think that they would need that for the dev environment too? Uh, one would think, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna bomb there, because I'm a dummy. Oh, I just wasted my DFS, great. The last thing blew up right after I pushed the button. <laughs> Want that little cube spewer thing? Thank you. All right. I think the first boss is probably gonna run away on me. No, oh, maybe not. Okay. Thought I was taking a while for it.
Uh. Oh, we're gonna sneak through there, huh? <laughs> I should be surviving any of this. Oh, okay, good. Oh, how did that? Okay, he didn't. He didn't live through it. Oh, oh fucking double KO, shitter. Well, that's a lot of stuff you're shooting now. Could you maybe not? Okay, that's fine. DFS, if you have it. Probably. I, I was waiting for it. The <laughs> that's fine was when I got it. Uh... Uh, you're not dead yet. Why are you not dead yet? Thank you. Oh, shit. I hit BFS right as I got hit. Come on. Uh, also, where did all of the, like, where did all the shit come? I guess I sucked it in because I was in DFS as I was getting hit. Um, uh, okay. Um, sir, thank you. I'm getting, like, stage 3 formations in stage 2. What the fuck is going on here? Uh, I guess you cycled through the stage 2 formations fast enough. Is that really how it works? I think so. <laughs> that seemed... might be how you got the X then, because normally the X is the second formation in stage 2. Yeah, you... I guess. Because I have seen some of the weird corner things in stage 1. Like, right at the end. Oh, crap. I'm just gonna bomb there, because I'm an idiot. Oh god, what am I doing? Uh, I lucked out with that one. Oh, what it oh it's something. Oh, that's only the mid-boss. Okay, excuse me. Oh, those come out towards you all the time. Okay, interesting. Uh, oh. <laughs> is Twitch is Twitch Josh and me? It's saying I'm on my connection's unstable. It's still actually okay. No, I reloaded and it's still saying the connection's unstable. So that's interesting. Twitch telling a truth this time. Yeah, I feel like OBS has been lying to me for ages now in terms of like it never actually shows me dropping frames even when I do. Interesting. And I used to think it was because of my relay, but I'm not using the relay now, so I don't know why it's still lying to me. Oh, I just ran right into that. Yep, good job. I would like to get the thing, <laughs> thank you. Oh, dude. They get to fire as soon as they pop on screen. Shitters. Oh, I had another one. Okay. Oh, we're getting one of those awkward silence formations in stage three. Okay. I mean, the stream looks okay to me on the preview right now. I'm waiting for the uh, dialogue here. Mm. 
now it's questionable. Hot place. Buddy. Oh! Trying that one. Oh! What? I was, I had DFS, and I guess it didn't last as long as I thought it would. Oh, wow, okay. That's, so I should not have gotten that great. So I think, yeah, we're going into the boss with, like, one hit. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Probably. I have DFS at least, but... I just freaking mashed my way through the first part of the boss, but now yes. I have no DFS. Oh. I did get more health, though. Alright, go for okay, it. I, played chicken. I, I was bad at playing chicken there. <laughs> yep, I'm dead. Because, yeah, it turns out when there's 30,000 bullets coming down the screen before your DFS power-up does mm -hmm. when you get hit, mm -hmm. it's bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anything to this Twitch telling me the connection is unstable or if it's full of crap. Uh, unstable events, zero. <laughs> so according to Inspector... Wait, what? Configuration check, incompatible. Auto um. video, audio video configuration issues detected. The average bitrate of the stream is too hot. What? <laughs> I haven't changed that. <laughs> What do you mean it's too high? Twitch, go home. <laughs> You're drunk. It's 6,000 kbps. That's literally what you say the limit is. So don't tell me it's too high. Incredible. It thinks I'm averaging 7,000, which is... Wow. No, okay. it thinks I'm averaging <laughs> 7,500. Which, <laughs> like, there's this line at 7,500, but no, my the actual squiggly line that is my actual stream is well below that. So, yeah, Twitch is having a normal one. What the hell? Oh, also, I all had, so I need to get back to the window. There we go. I don't know. That's weird. I mean, like I said, haven't changed that. OBS has been running at 6,000 for months. And I somehow doubt you're putting out audio at 1,000 plus. I mean, if you are, good. Yeah, that should good be for like you, one, but... That should be like 160, because <laughs> I think that's what they recommend or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez, that far one almost caught me looking.
Ah, jeez. I'm noticing I'm getting higher levels out of stage one at least. Uh oh. Jeez. What are you topping out at nowadays? I mean, still probably far <laughs> lower than you and EI, but 46. Hey, I ain't getting there. I mean, I used to be under 40, so... Oh, I do have DFS, and I just used it at the dumbest possible... Yep, dumbest <laughs> possible time. Let's redo that. Like, let's... Yeah, remember I have it and use it when nothing is being shot at. For oh, shit. Five whole seconds. Um... <laughs> LBS is hanging around 6,000, so I don't know what Twitch's problem is. Oh shit, there's those three there, that's right. Tiny dudes, knock it off. <laughs> oh my god. stock there last time. Oh, that's weird. Oh, right. Oh, he fires down the screen. Sir. I don't know, was there Bouillon there instead or something? No, no, not quite. That might have been better, though. Better than Bouillon? Better than Bouillon. Although, I, I disagree with their assertion that it's not better <laughs> than Bouillon. Good marketing play, though. I'll respect that. Um, bomb, because I'm an idiot. Uh, ah! If you legitimately have a twin stick shooter, actually, the dude on my call would be interested, too. Oh, hell yeah. Mr. Bond is a big enjoyer of the twin stick sh I can't believe I just did that. Do you like me a good twin stick? So, uh, you got, you got two potentially interested parties here if you have a twin stick. Even if it's like a demo or something. Ooh. Because, uh... Both of us are big fans of, uh, Assault <laughs> Android Cactus. That's, uh, one that came out... That's an indie one that came out in, what, 2015-ish? Um... Yeah, I think Early Maybe Access 2015, full release 2016, and then Plus was... 2018? Late 2017? Something like that? Yeah, I mean, plus had to be, like, Switch 
This is like post switch launch and whatnot, right? I think plus was the switch launch. I'm not least... familiar with Ubermarsh. Are you familiar with Ubermarsh, Mr. Bond? Ubermarsh? No. That does not sound familiar. Never... I don't think I've seen it. Oh crap. I'll have to look it up in a minute. Between runs. Let's see what else. I mean, I guess just recently, uh, in the in the most recent Next Fest, there was um, what was it, Gatekeeper, which is basically what if Risk of Rain but Twin Stick, kind of. So that seems pretty promising. I, um, wasn't that War Sphere or was that something something else? No, 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 no. No, Gatekeeper was what if Risk of Rain but Twin Stick. Ah, okay. War Sphere was something else. Yeah, War Sphere was another one that. Uh, uh, very, very small indie developer kind of did a sort of shareware-ish model where, like, you can, like, there is a free version that is two out of five acts. I don't think, like, what other ones I have played recently. I had DFS and didn't realize it. Oh, oh, why did I think I could sneak through there? That was dumb. Ah, trash fire of a stage three. Oh, that's the mid boss though. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. These mid bosses need to stop acting like real bosses. <laughs> what are you playing again? Bluish. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my I god. mean, they don't have a big life meter. They're not real bosses. I do they not? Am I just ignoring? I might be ignoring that. Actually, no. I, I'm thinking of the stage five ones in particular. I think that just have like the mini life meters. Above oh them. yeah, no. That, I think this dude definitely had an actual life meter. I yeah, I think the the mid boss in four does have a full blown life meter, and I trying to remember. I guess does two even have one? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember I don't what. Has, I don't remember if it has a meter of its own. Stage I'm on. Oh, this must be four because it's got all the. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, if you want to send something in our DMs, then. Uh, oh. I will check it. After this run. What was the name? I won't necessarily won't necessarily play it in the same stream, but why did I just get two? From I I took one hit and I got two DFS pickups. That's interesting. Yeah, let's go with it. I'm not even like I couldn't. I, I pretty much couldn't avoid picking up both of them. I think sometimes if you blade the little score bits when they change to something else, sometimes it's a DFS refill. That's true. Hell, oh, what I got hit by that! Wow. Hell right, if I know is, the uh, attempt is pretty much on ice at this point. Cause of any of that though, on, on account of the RNG for power ups and shit. Oh boy, this this is in dire straits now. But yeah, if this is a uh, if it's something on like Steam or something, then uh, I'll like just what. Let me see what the. Uh... Steam or itch or gog or it's both. It's itch and steam. Nice. From the looks of the messages. Excellent. That's what I was gonna say. Is like I want to at least like look up the game first. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, why did I that have no idea what I just picked up? It might have been bad. Ooh. Uh, pop this. Oh, I had DFS and didn't realize it again. Oh, I just went right into that one. Good job. Okay, it's awkward pause before the third mid boss again. Oh, <laughs> all right, we're gonna go up for that one. Give. Yep.
Oh, th oh, there was still a dude behind the explosions there. Excuse me. Fucking get a proper Z index, asshole. You didn't actually. Wow, I didn't hit him enough. <laughs> that was really bad. Okay. Well, thank you for the follow. Let me check the uh, messages now. H keys that include Steam keys. Let me see what this does. Oh! <laughs> Actually, it's funny is when I look this up, the first result is a site called Crazy Games. Hmm. Oh boy, this looks like. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm just looking at the pickle style, and it's like asteroids and Undertale and. <laughs> uh... So I'm vector based. There's a very short like. on here. Oh wait, there's a video. Of, there's a video above it. Let me actually watch the video. Hang on. I am definitely wondering if I will have trouble visually picking things up. But let's. Oh my God! What are we doing here? Oh. Oh, it's normally it's normally three bucks a match. Shit. Yeah, so someone comments, it is very hard to distinguish between you, the projectiles, and enemies, <laughs> because the contrast and colors are the same. The colors are the same, it's very monochrome. Oh, honk. Um, but, uh, I mean, well, it looks it like it's not, like, the thing I was looking for in the trailer was, like, is there going to be, like, way too much green shake or something, but it looks mm -hmm. like there's not, so. So it's got that going for it. Um, and they did send two itch keys, so I can send you one of them. Oh, alright, cool. Let me go ahead and send you the second one. Uh, I guess I'll just... Do I actually have you in DMs on Discord? I don't even uh, know. Maybe, yeah. Uh, fuck if I know. <clears throat> I've never really had... I don't DM much, so... If not, I'm sure we have a uh, server or two in common. Uh, yeah, like yours. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're on here somewhere. It jumped me to it jumped me to your window in my DMs, but I have no idea where you actually are on the list. So that's fun. Oh, there it is. All right. Yeah, we haven't DM'd since uh, 2020. Cool. Ah, a not so good year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So I'll just here. I'll send you that one, and I will do the first one. And uh, depending on where the attempts go tonight. You can enable enemy outlines. Oh, the dev has done some alterations to allow for better distinctions. Neat. That's good. I, li I like seeing that kind of stuff done. Um, and meanwhile, I will go grab the first one. Actually, why am I doing this on my laptop? Like, I should just grab it on my like I can grab it from itch directly anyway. So like, why not? I don't. I mean, unless it has unless it has achievements that I would be better off getting it on Steam anyway. <laughs> but like, I I normally don't care about achievements right. anyway. So. <clears throat> To, I just did it on one on one computer, and now I need to like get it off the other one, and I need to figure out where the heck it shows up. My library. That seems like yeah. There we go. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and grab it here. So this came out sometime late last year, I take it. I think it said September eighth or something, twenty twenty three. When I looked at the Steam page, it looks like the latest update on itch was November seventeenth. Which is right around when my birthday is, actually. Oh, happy birthday. Uh, belated I and mean, or preemptive. It was several <laughs> months ago, but then. <laughs> it's still. Oh, it's. Did I. Did I miss that on the Steam page? Is it still. Does it have the early access banner going on? Did I not scroll enough? Actually, no, I didn't go to the Steam page. I went to the itch page, didn't I? Yeah, so. Does, oh, it does say. Yeah, it says early access down here. 
Oh, and it does have a demo, too. Dev just gave us keys anyway. There's a demo there. I would have played the demo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pro oh, no. Oh. Poorly aged early access dialogue. How, how Approximately how long will the game be in early access? One month or so. Or so is doing a lot of work there. <laughs> I, I remember when, um, and this is not picking on you, when, when um... Oh, fuck. When Supplice finally announced episode two, it had been like six months since episode one and i was like yeah the early access thing i remember seeing like they were hoping to release like one episode every two to three months so i actually like mentioned in their like in the thread for their news post like you guys might want to update that so is that and they actually they actually like cause, and the funny thing is like people like kind of like countered that with like you might not want to update it because it might like catch you in a lie or something like <laughs> they might look bad i feel like being forthcoming would be better a better idea and that's what they did is like they actually like updated to like we originally said this but this is what's happening yeah there you um go. and they actually they gave me like one of those little like you know community award thingies for like suggesting that i don't know um they were nice about it um, is that... Technically, you reach the early access goals. Of, oh, so this is like Gmail. It's just in beta. <laughs> Everybody's already yeah. using it. I get you. Um, you should probably update that. <laughs> um, so you're, you're working on a new game mode and adding a new character. Okay, so it's got multiple characters. I was wondering, based on the title, whether it's like a Survivor's like. Um, it's kind of... I have an interesting relationship with Survivor's like because there's too many of them. Oh, there is very um, many of them, yeah. So I am, I am very... Like, it is... I, I, I've... And very reluctant to like, like in Next Fest context. Every time there's a new Next Fest, there's like ten survivors likes, and I'm like, I'm not looking at any of these unless they give me a really good reason to. So wait, how look often? At this one. How often is Next Fest? I felt like three that times was... a year. Oh, it's, Jesus Christ! Months. Okay, I was about to say that yeah. sounds like it should be an annual thing, but it's way more than that. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, and there's a lot of games in every one, and you, oh, never, boy. you never know whether people are going to leave their demos up like indefinitely or not. Uh, so I'm like, I, I got to cram as many demos as I can into this week. I kind of hate it, honestly, because like that combined with games are only allowed to be in one next fest at this oh, point. Oh. Oh. So that's it's like rough. if you miss it, if they yank their demo, like what the hell do you do? Um, so I, I wish Next Fest wouldn't create that kind of time pressure, but... Interesting. It's, it, it was hard to clarify to people that it's not a Survivor's like it's more of a traditional twin stick shooter. Okay, when you, you know what, yeah, I, sh I shouldn't have immediately connotated multiple characters with Survivor's <laughs> like because, like, hey, Assault Android Cactus has multiple characters. It's yes. not a Survivor's like Nine Because the genre didn't exist then. <laughs> um, but okay. Actually, I'm trying to remember, so I never played Nuclear Throne because, like, it mm. has a lot of screen shake and crap. Bond, you played that. Does that <clears> have oh, multiple yeah. classes or anything? Or yes, not? there are eight characters, does, I think. Okay. And you can turn the screen shake off entirely, I believe, if that's not okay. your thing. I probably have it in my library from some bundle back when I bought bundles. I eventually stopped buying bundles because I realized I have too many games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, no, I will definitely check this thing out. Especially if it's like more of a traditional twin stick. Like that that warrants even more of him. So I'll have to give that a look. Possibly after I get fed up with playing this tonight, because I I would have switched to uh Blue Wish, but we've got another month to play Blue Wish. Oh that's so. right, we do. And why did I play this tonight? Yeah, blue Oh well. Well I figured you were done with well, you know, I in thought I was game. done with Karis before too, but you know, I had a couple PBs since. Yeah. You never, never quite know. I just didn't want to do Shienryu again. That that game pissed me D off. I, yeah. <laughs> Sick of getting dunked right before flashy peas. And... Not getting the oh, flashy yeah, yeah. keys. So I have to ask uh, Fuzzy Studios, what brings you to uh, to streams to to give out keys? Because it's like you could have just told me there was a demo and I would play the demo. It's <laughs> so, like the fact that you're you're giving out keys is uh, extra generous. Also, I am not DFSing enough. DFS more. The. Uh... Not so popular follow up to Mount Rushmore. I don't know, I think DFS more would be more popular. Yeah, you would you would think so, right? Wait, that's a stage thing? No, it's a stage thing.
He just really wants people to play the. They just really want people to play the game. Well, uh, well, that's good. You got you got two people to try it now, oh, and uh, oh, oh god, bullets. So did I hear correct that it also, is still in early you... access? Or... Say it again? Is it still in early access at present? Or did technically, I hear that yes. Wrong? Okay. But right, they were right. saying that like technically their first their their initial goals have been completed. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, one thing I'm wondering, because I'm not sure if the trailer made it obvious or not, and I haven't booted, booted it up yet, but what, uh, what engine is it, like, or, or I guess not even engine, but like, what library is it using? Well, I guess, I guess it's fair to call Unity and things engines, right? But like, I don't know. Well, I yeah, feel like, Unity, definitely. I feel like engine is nebulous there, because like, you still have to actually like, build the game on top of it. Well, I mean, that's framework, I guess. I don't where have I heard G-Develop? G-Develop, that sounds familiar. Why do I know that name? Well, Noah's being charitable, but where have I heard that name? Also, I guess it's web-based, because or like something that can run in browsers, because like I'm pretty sure it was like embedded on the itch.io page. Huh. Which that immediately has me at least... Maybe that's why I've heard of it, is like at some point I was looking at like web-based game libraries, because I am a web developer. So that might be when I saw G develop also. I wonder how picky the uh, the first kill blinky guy bonus is, because like, if I kill three things in one swipe, and uh, the blinky guy was one yeah. of them, do I get credit or not? Or is it really like paying attention to the exact millisecond? <clears throat> That's a good question, I don't know. You'll know if you got it when the thing that, you, that pops out of it is very large. Oh, okay. I don't have time to look at the things popping out of it. Yeah, the little capsule or pill or whatever it is for the XP. Uh, oh. uh, you gonna die sometime? Okay. <sighs> Oh my goodness, how did I get through there? Oh, that one too! <laughs> uh, I would like DFS. Oh cool, I got it just in time to suck in the speed down. <laughs> Excellent. I think I didn't get the milestone logo there either, darn it. Uh, the name of this game is Karoz, K-A-R-O-U-S. Ah, good uh, old. This was by Milestone. This is one of a trio of Milestone shmups on the Ultimate Shooting Collection for Wii. Karoz was originally released for Dreamcast. Uh, it's very, it's got a very interesting style to it. Oh, and actually, yeah, given, given. Actually, you know, it is kind of funny, you know, given that Fuzzy's game is very monochromatic, and given the style of, like, the enemies and shots and stuff in this, it is kind of a fun coincidence. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, jeez. Actually, one thing that I was, I was going to mention earlier that I guess is kind of a twin stick, but kind of a, a roguelike, um, that I was thinking of a little bit when I looked at... Um, Fuzzy's game was, uh... Oh, what the hell was it called? The game formerly known as Monolith. They had the chance Uh, oh, right. Um, shit. Uh, Star of Providence. Yup. That's a good game. I like that one. I never... I, there, I have so many roguelikes that I have not played enough of. It's really one of them. close to a shmup slash bullet hell, too. So, yeah. if you need a, a little more of a nudge towards that one. That'll do it. <laughs> well, now my latest thing in terms of, like, randomizers and stuff is I'm starting to try to learn the heretic levels better. Mm. Oh, 
crap. Because I've already done Doom Episode 1 through 3 randomizers, but I'd like to be able to, like, mix Heretic in there. Actually, one thing, one thing that's kind of fun to do that I did um, a couple nights ago is basically uh, double shareware. Doom Episode 1, Heretic Episode 1. <laughs> Which, of course, you need to run two clients for that. Like, right, it's, right, it's right. two games. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I, I made use of OBS's, like, capture window using hotkey. So that I could flip back and forth. Oh, you didn't And just, I basically uh... played it as if it was one game. I always returned to the map. Because the neat thing is, there's this option to turn off the map music specifically. Huh. In the Archipelago client for Doom and Heretics, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. You didn't, uh, uh, two game one controller that shit? Just for fun? Uh, good lord. <laughs> I don't think that would, well, I shouldn't say that because I'm sure people have tried, but I don't think it would be possible for. It wouldn't even, turn out very well. Even approaching normal human beings. I mean, it would basically be like, um,. When Zallard two player one controller, or no, when he did like the two games at once with um, Punch Out and Super Punch Out, but like basically their end result was one of them ended up paused a lot. <laughs> so I would I would see where you would just be like running up against a wall a lot and right, one of the right, games right. or something if you did that. Oh, okay. He was apparently almost dead because he just disappeared when I hovered over him. There. Like, oh, there's the milestone logo in stage three by accident. Okay. Yeah, it's in front of that little factory-looking motherfucker. And I guess I can slash that one because I definitely wasn't shooting at it. You can slash them all. It just seems to take a long time. Even when your S word is fully powered. Oh, did I waste that? Kind of. And it's not too bad, I guess. Oh, I hit that one too many times. Wow, I just cycled that thing like an entire other round while I was in DFS. Like, normally you're expecting oh, the powers yeah. are just gonna get sucked in immediately. Oh, how did that hit me? Fuck All off. right, let's see what happens here. Oh wow, a free DFS uh, refill before the boss at random. Also, why is weird? My my Twitch is being weird right now. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, we're gonna go for that. Okay. Oh come on. There's one stupid thing left up here. Ah! There's one bullet left there. Great. I just took two hits in the first phase. That sucks. Oof. supposed to do this. Hello? I'm... I'm so confused. I hovered my ship directly over the DFS refill pickup twice, and it didn't pick it up. <laughs> and then after I game over it, as my ship was sinking, it refilled yeah. DFS and did the animation. <laughs> oh, yeah. What the hell just happened? I see that a lot of... Uh, uh, you, your DFS... Your was DF happening, but you were sinking. It, it's ready. Now use it. it oh wait, you're dead. It should have happened twice before that because I literally was <laughs> on the power up. So I, I can only assume what game you're playing then, based on. Good old David Caruso. <laughs> Strikes again. Caruso. Damn it, David hey, Caruso! If I could, if how I could, could you do have done the, the who us? shout, I would be doing it right <laughs> now after that death. To be fair, that was, yeah! that was my plan. For <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, to be fair, that was my plan for uh, tonight as well, given that it's the last week of right. David Caruso, right. as it were. Right. But... And also the last week for Shinryu, but nobody cares about that. Yeah, no, that one can I, I'm go away. 
happy with my score there. I'm gonna leave that one go. <laughs> I'm ha I'm happy with knowing that the parts of the game I haven't gotten to aren't worth getting to. That's yeah. Having gotten to at least some of those parts, you are correct. Yeah, you don't want to go there. <laughs> I didn't get to stage five, and all I've heard about it, stage five is it's not not very fun. It's a very stage silly five place. Sucks ass. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm not guaranteed to have to pick a shmup for the next poll. Ah, oh, <laughs> damn it! Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm putting on the. Oh yeah, I have oh. no freaking <laughs> idea what the hell I do for those anymore. Ah. Uh. Fucking hell! Um, uh, I uh, having to choose quarterlies <laughs> is bad enough, and obviously, like, yes, I want to retain some editorial control, but damn right. it! Right, but now I, you get to I, do I it fucking, again. <laughs> I fucking bamboozled myself. <laughs> The strongest self bam. Excellent. Of all. Good self own. <laughs> anyway, through the power of beverage, I lost track of time again. So yeah, well, I'm glad that, that that happened. I, I'm, I'm glad that sure it wasn't it was the power of over. community beverage, and that's why you weren't here. Uh, coworker beverage, but not full on community beverage, I guess. Well, I guess coworker is what I meant. But... Yes, but coworker <laughs> on individual basis rather oh, than. Oh, okay. Not coworker. Yes. Yeah. So yes. social beverage in in general, yeah. I suppose. It's important. Mm -hmm, I'm I'm mm -hmm, a big mm -hmm. social beverage uh, proponent, as it as it were. I mean, a big beverage I mean, proponent. I mean, right? Yeah, sure. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, that bullet. Let's let's not uh, oh, think about yeah, the implications man, that of that too deeply, please. Look, Thanks. something, something, <laughs> high functioning, something. Yeah. <laughs> or at least moderate. I don't uh, know. You know, I well. Uh, Describing any of my functioning as high functioning is look, probably uh, all right. Just take the <laughs> W, <laughs> you're okay? Setting, you're setting the standards too high for me, man. That's what I'm. Oh saying. my oh, God, that bullet. <laughs> Oh, what? I didn't... I, I guess I lost track of where I was there. Where? What the fuck hit me there? Ugh. Uh, evidently... Something. something, yeah. I don't know about these explosions, man. They seem to hide an awful lot. I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not the dialogue. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> fuck David Caruso for that one. <laughs> Uh, I will never not be amused by that, though, because, like, you get so mad about of it. Of course I- well, it's bullshit! Of course I'm gonna get mad about it. Yeah, but you get mad. Like, turbo oh, mad? Like, yeah, that it's that animated. Way. Very, um, it's very excitable Definitely. sometimes. Oh, fuck. That's I could have probably had another formation if I were less fucking dumb and actually oh, killed all the oh, enemies. Oh. <laughs> oh, I mean, you could argue if the enemies were less- Cowardly. Right? Don't like cowards around here. Oh, to answer Kenny, uh, Kenny, I'm guessing you already answered that we're playing yeah. Karaus. Oh, yeah, yeah, to the person in chat. Yeah, to the yeah. Karaus' soundtrack is fucking incredible. Like, just listen to that shit if you have Real talk, it. though, real the, 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 the thing going on in the, in the soundtrack for level two, oh. uh, in the background is is very remi reminiscent of part of the Metroid Prime menu music. Yeah, I can see it. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That that fucking tracks. Oh, for sake! I mean, we do we do tend to get quite a few schmucks with really good music in general. I mean, as a genre, it does. Uh, pretty well for it. So yeah, another one to pay attention to if you, haven't, uh, if you haven't seen it is Blue Revolver. Ooh, yes. We just uh, revisited that one good. recently. Blue Revolver's soundtrack. I mean, also the game is really good too. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just we're, we we wish that they would release their DLC already. <laughs> uh, we're a I, very patient sort. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, the second they do, I don't care. We're revisiting it like the quarter after it releases. I don't fucking care. I'm in charge of this. I'm making that decision. <laughs> Y'all can fucking fight me. Look, I, we're not gonna fight you for that. <laughs> Come on. 
Why I would we? Say, realistically, I feel like the people in this call are going to be no, we'd probably be all for it. generally, generally pleased to revisit the game again. Because <laughs> it turns out it's also a really good shmup. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Even if, even if it's not for SBC or whatever, you should probably play it. It's quite good. Worth your support. <laughs> I wholeheartedly endorse the playing of Blue Revolver. You heard it here first, folks. Well, I mean, I hope they heard it elsewhere, too. And several years ago, but, you know. I, I mean, yeah, but the best time to play Blue Revolver was several years ago when it yeah. came out. Uh -huh. Second uh -huh. best time is now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. What on earth is going on here? I have DFS. Uh, use it. You have DFS. You could be using and now it I, right and of now. Of course I used it right as the frickin' phase changed so nothing happened. Fire up that DFS. <laughs> I shall not get hit by enemies. <laughs> Do you, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can't believe we got uh, citation needed in the frickin' dialogue. <laughs> And now I just, I got hit by everything. Well, don't do am that. Am I not dead? Where am I? I was in the bottom right corner. I, I lost track of my ship. Hmm. I'm doing very bad at, like, actually killing enemies. I should consider Whoop. being better yeah, at I, killing I, enemies. I think consider killing I enemies. Think the rudeness that in, in a couple of runs ago is a sign for me to hang it up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just do the one more, all right? Yeah, just do no, the, the one more. One more. Yeah, I showed up. Less far. I showed up, you gotta at least play like one, play one more, more while I'm here. Just one more, alright. You, you, you got it. One more. That's what I was doing. <laughs> well, you know, then do one more. Yeah. I like the bomb sets add on this. I'm gonna refresh my which dashboard because it like scrolled the top off and I can't get it back. It's really weird. <laughs> Wait, it's still doing it. What the hell? Like, I just refreshed it and it's still doing like, it. Damn, we are having a good influence on it. Yeah, this. see? <laughs> <laughs> Alas. My good influence points are not as good as I want them to be yet. I'll oh, work on you it. know. <clears throat> it's a practiced skill, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Eh, 58 in the safe one boss is okay, I guess. As long as you got your 50 shield, that's all that matters, really. Sure, but I've come into the stage one boss at like 63 or something, so 58 just feels adequate. I mean, sure. But still. I mean, is it bad? No, no. but it, it's just, it's oh. merely adequate. Got a lot of game ahead of you, though. Like, you could have and then just I backed the... into a bullet, so okay, now well, that's the running through. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I fucked it. What else is new, I suppose? Oh, hell yeah, Power Records news, let's go. There you go. Read that shit. They got their CD recommendation for Oh, us. there we go. Heart and hers tens I... something something it scrolled away, I missed it. Gesundheit, I guess. Alright. <laughs> ah. Alright. Can't believe I missed all those. Not the greatest time to use DFS. Oh, what?
Mm -hmm. Did we grab that? We did. Good. Two that time. There that's, you go. That's all right. All right. <laughs> Is that, hey, what uh, are you showing to the stage <laughs> one boss with? I can seventy some. Set like low seventies. You're, you're getting the seventies on, a, on occasion. Usually high sixties, but seventy like seventy one or two sometimes. Wow, I'm fucking missing literally ten levels here. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, those, Where like, are you getting all that from? The, the, the flashy damn. little first ship things are worth more than I think a lot of people oh, think. Right, yeah. Huh. Yeah, it turns out that uh, you can get more points if you can see stuff that's basically invisible. Right? You know, just you know, see invisible yeah, well, stuff. You know. It's that easy. Yeah. See invisible matter. Mm hmm See visible matter. Wait, we haven't done radiant silver gun yet. Never mind. Hey, that's a good fucking game to toss on for something at some point. Actually, we could do Saturn now. Yeah, I could throw Radiant Silver Gun on there. I don't Is know if I'd want to... Is that That was on Arcade, I guess, but like... Uh, yeah, it's Arcade and Saturn. It's on the, the Sega Titan or whatever, like the, the, the Saturn equivalent arcade hardware. Uh, I don't know which version... Is has better compatibility in uh, terms of stuff it, to run. It's the same hardware that ran uh, Suki. Uh, okay, which had some graphical glitches at least in the. Uh, yeah. Main. The Saturn version is probably going to be the better option from the perspective of I think you can do six button controller with it, which is kind of nice. Mm. Because the arcade version is three button, and so of the seven weapons, you have to like do button combinations. Seven weapons? Different weapon. oh. Yeah. Wait, are we playing Doom? <laughs> uh, no, but also, uh, Radiant Silver Gun's a wild fucking time. I'll just put it that way. Well, I mean, I know it's the precursor to uh, Ikaruga, which we did play. It's, I would say, the spiritual predecessor to Ikaruga. And it's it, it's very much its own thing. <laughs> I'll put it that yeah, way. Yeah, I, fi I figured. Uh, oh god, I have myself in trouble. Okay, we got ourselves out of trouble. Very good. Uh, I'm in the wrong place. Shit. Oh, that's a boss. Oh, Mm. Alright, I'm not doing very good at getting out of stage one. If today. the sword level reaches 50, you can slash three times in a row. Whoosh! Whoosh! Like five tildes after. Yeah. Or not tildes. But... Ah, tildes. The most suggestive of punctuation. Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I played that enough. Uh, yeah, that was, that yeah, was good. That was good. Oh, B plus. B plus and E minus. You know what? I'll take it. Sounds like a victory to me. Whoa, boy. I just weaved in and out of traffic there and somehow didn't pay for it. Oh, don't worry. Payment will come later. Yeah, I probably want to get to the med boss. I like how these guys, like, lose their arms. They're basically the Black Knight of, uh... It's just the pleasure. <laughs> Alright, we'll call it a draw. <laughs> Ooh. 
Well, I just got a DFS power up right before the mid boss, but I think I already had full DFS. Oh, so you should have popped it right away and then yoink. Well, I could have. I guess I could have tried juggling it, but I might have changed the back. So. Ah, that's true. Okay, now I don't have DFS for the worst part, so that's not great. Cause, yeah, good luck not getting hit there. Anytime I don't get hit there, it's luck. Or I have DFS, but those are the only two choices. here for this guy. See it. I really do. <laughs> the fucking laziest ass death I've seen in a while. Oh, you're, you're also not dead yet. Come on, dude. I feel bad because I was like trying to pick out the place where the milestone logo was, was in stage three, but. <laughs> Totally, totally missed it. I feel like that sometimes. All right, can we can we actually make this work? Yes. Maybe. Solid maybe. <laughs> Very much confidence from the audience here. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! There was a bullet there. What the fuck? Okay, got through the first phase with only one hit that time, so that was an improvement. I think we take those around here, improvements. Is that a thing we're allowed to do? Hang on. I, I think so, Hold technically. Up. Technically. Does it happen often? No, but oh. I mean... <laughs> well, you know, let's, let's <clears throat> make sure we keep our standards nice and right? grounded. Right, right. Oh, oh. Uh, no, I ended up oh. at 62 again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, whatever. Uh, oh, wow, I only had two hits worth? Really? Okay. Ooh, yeah, oh, jeez. Some, wait, you reasonably okay, so hang well on a sec, though. Getting extra levels off the boss, too, so that's not I got... That is the highest score I've gotten without getting into stage 4, so that's something, there you I go, guess. Right. Yeah. Victory. Like, have I ever cracked 300 mil without getting into stage 4? I don't think so. No, I had a 295. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> And I'm trying to remember, I think the one time I got to stage four, the third boss just wandered off. <laughs> as as it does. Can you time out the <laughs> first phase of the third stage boss? That would be funny. I have uh, no idea. No that idea. It's like a building with turrets. <laughs> right? Maybe it just fucking can, can gets up. you science for us? <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust myself to survive that one. I mean, you know, it's just gotta shield it. All of it, except for the, like, one little shooter at the top, and just sit Do there. Do shields work against the attacks that the thing fires? Uh, I think all of them, yeah. Yeah. As long let... as the shield is the thing that makes contact with the bullet, I think shield yeah. works against basically everything. Just don't let one wander in from the side I wasn't realizing it was quite that strong. Yeah, the... I, I figured that there were some bullets it couldn't work for. No... No, shield is really fucking good. Yeah. Oh, sir. Like, 
that's my general experience is the shield kicks ass. Use the shield more when in doubt. Like as a mm -hmm. both an offensive mm -hmm. and defensive option, it is just extremely good. Yeah, especially once you've leveled up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once it sure. at, once it's at least even level twenty, it's fucking incredible. And if you get it to level 50, it's incredible. Then it's very it's basically, good. yeah, like any bullet that you come in contact with just sends out a fucking shockwave that cancels out more bullets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it just, even just kind of plowing forward into a single wave just cancels mm, out everything on the fucking them. screen. Right, just don't uh, outpace it. Then you'll have a bad time. Yes, I've I have definitely accidentally done that, and it's horrible. Every yeah. Time that happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, oh, uh, I guess, I guess I ran into the bullet that was ahead of my shield yep. shot wave. Wave. Yeah, it's an embarrassing Oops. way to go. <laughs> I've definitely thrown runs away doing this. Don't don't be like me. <laughs> do not throw your run away. Don't do what Donnie don't does. <laughs> what? Damn it. I just got DFS and hit something at the same time. Fucking hate to see it, you know? Me do. Me do. Uh! Oh. I'm not in especially good stage 2 level wise, but whatever. Maybe I can make it up on the boss. Hmm. Whatever it fucking deigns to show up, you know, hello. I, I know you're a turtle ish thing, but like can you can you show up for work at some point, please? It's like fucking it's like an octopet or something. It's gotta get all its legs in a row. It's just give it a break. <laughs> it it must be really hard to get out of bed in the morning. Right? Oh, God damn it. Jeez. <laughs> Oh. I mean, it's funny, too, because when it finally does show up to work, it's seriously like, let's go. Oh, yeah, like, once it's fully woken up, it's uh, not messing around, you know? Whatever credits do, when, once it starts uh, getting angry and start thrashing mm -hmm, around, mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's doing some stuff. Uh... I suppose this is a good allegory for life or whatever. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm just making shit up, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's so many things here. Oh my god! Ugh. Oh, that actually had 50 shot. Very good. I didn't realize I'd actually made it that far, and I thought I was just shy of 50, but I'm not. No. I'm at 50. You've got like the Where three... I want to be. Three extra bits on either side. There's your fifth. Yeah. Well, and that's oh. how I realized I was, is because I had the extra bits, and mm -hmm, I was like, oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all of the extra bits are accounted for. I understand. Oh, jeez, yeah. I'll but now it's just a matter of getting sword up now that I'm on stage three. Right, right, right. Because, you know... Priorities. You gotta shield on stage one, mm -hmm. shot on stage two, mm -hmm. because like mm -hmm. a lot of the formations are a pain in the ass to actually get shot killed on beyond that. And then sword on stage three. And That's then right. you have all of them at fifty, and then you're sorted. Yep. Everything's great. And then uh, that is the correct order, yep, 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 yep. Oh, we're gonna get through there, huh? Okay. Actually, I want to speed up because I had to speed down.
Uh-oh. Can I get DFS, please? Like, if you do a formation bad and you don't get all your DFS back, it's just like, mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. I guess my entire stage one is kind of fucked, huh? Throws off the rhythm, you're not ready for the boss. Yeah, yeah that's not good. Yeah. Nice. And it's one of those things where once you get even slightly off, then it just kind of cascades mm -hmm, and you can't mm -hmm. get back into a rhythm where at least you have DFS for each new formation. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so you just get further and further out of whack. Eh, it's awful. Fucking worse. I mean, David Caruso's harsh. It's true. What a jerk. Did it work out? For the time being. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's you say that because now there's a lot answer. of crap on screen. <laughs> Very considered. <laughs> oh, 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 what? I just backed into that. That was stupid. I don't do that. Oh. Come on, you know better. Certain enough formations to get the uh, sword only guys at the end of stage one. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. fascinating. It's happened on occasion. It's a oh, weird experience that it happens. I don't have it happen particularly often. What? Once again, no, I it's happened occasionally. I know it's the thing because I've like this isn't the first time it's ever happened. But that was completely every time it does, it was me off. It's always a surprise. Probably not making it to the end of stage three to science this, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, don't doubt yourself. Sometimes you never know. know. Science takes a while. Huh? Sometimes, sometimes science happens to to people who are uh, pa patient. It, I guess. I, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with that. You know what? That that sounds wise enough. That we'll sounds sciency. Good science happens to the, the patient oh, what? and or science. Or you can get point uh -huh. blanked. I mean, or you can do that. You because know. you didn't realize the DFS was over, but it was apparently over. Mm. I like how it did and the animation. And apparently my shield wasn't out, because I thought my shield would be out by that point and I'd be fine. Like, the stage one boss did the, like, weird shoulder shrug attack and, animation. And nothing came out. And then no bullets came out, <laughs> and it, it was like, oh, right, yeah, it was, I was I was leaving. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it just shrugs at me, pauses for a split second, and then scoots did off. Did I leave the gas on? <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> like, the next level shit. Like, oh, eh. Uh, I, 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 I am pleased to be. Can't Bye. be ours. <laughs> I'm pleased to report Twitch thinks my stream is stable now. There we go. It only took it like an hour and a half. Yeah. Good job. The, I mean, there was there was no unstable events whatsoever. The only complaint that Inspector had was the bit rate was too high, which is bullshit because I stream at six thousand. Six thousand is a high. lot of bits. You know, like that's, that's what they weird. say to stream at. <laughs> Their like... servers can't handle all right? those hits, Kenny. Oh, yeah, you think they can company. afford those servers? Get but out of here. The, the, the upstart company, the, the Twitch. Little scrappy indie cannot, company here. Cannot afford cannot servers. Cannot handle this. 
Also, it needs to put ads on everything because it can't afford shit. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, like yeah, the one thing you know, preventing me from going affiliate it again is like, but that means ads. Because like at this point, Patreon are just as much a bunch of jerks as Amazon is. So like, I'm really choosing the lesser evil. Um, like it's a choice between what's the lesser evil. Yeah, point. I mean it's all about harm reduction sometimes. Realistically, but yeah, and I, I choose harm reduction for my viewers. Yeah, mm -hmm. no ads, which is the not correct affiliate. answer. Yeah, yeah. more or less. Realistically, I think Although the other thing that I didn't to, um, I, I think we just need to accept that it's it, it shouldn't be for money anymore uh -huh. because it can't be for money because all the people that help make it be for money are parasitic vultures. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're talking about the site, not the. Streamers. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm talking about the sites, like, you know... Which Twitch the site won't Patreon exist if it's and... not for money. <laughs> that's, uh, that's... Guess well, what? That's capitalism. That's, God, the, that's capitalism. the argument, for sure. Capitalism has ruined everything. It really we has. can't have anything mm -hmm. be for fun anymore. Nothing because is capitalism nice. has ruined Everything it all. is terrible. Remember when the internet was weird? Those were good days. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still weird. Like if you go to some yeah, places, I was gonna say, but no, it's just weird in worse ways. <laughs> yeah, it's probably all oh my when it was like weird in a genuine and charming way, yeah, as opposed yeah. to oh, its current bad. like. That was bad science right there. Okay. Like the fun weird, not the weird weird. Oh mm -hmm. fuck. I'm not gonna get an adequate. Remember score when here. people made fucking like Geo Cities sites? Or oh whatever. yeah. Yeah. That kind of weird. A uh, individual just kind of making shit weird. Yeah, and that's definitely a thing that I've seen people <laughs> post on Mastodon about, of like, we want to just do that again. I mean, I do genuinely want to come back to those days. I think there's something that's been lost. I mean, there's nothing stopping anybody from really doing that. It's just that you also have to actually like work for a living cool. and yeah you can't, yeah, do, cool, you can't do the weird things the, the weird things for that yeah always got to be harming somebody if i if i weren't you know in a severe lacking of wherewithal from the fact that uh, that whole thing what gives me money to be al allowed to have things like food and shelter mm -hmm. and beer. Uh, if it weren't for my uh, wherewithal withdrawal from that, Good alliteration. Uh, I would totally... Yeah, I know. I feel very clever. Um, I would totally just... <sighs> Maybe I should just, like... I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to hold my nose and do web development. Gross. But well, I mean, I would be fine with doing web development if it weren't always for companies doing crappy things. But, but mm. I should just, like, do a... Uh... <clears throat> do an I, personal I'm project thing. Whatever. Yeah, well, a personal... Uh, like, do some writing or something, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blogs. Mm -hmm. I remember oh, when those were there. I, I do. <laughs> uh, just do like oh a God. I have to come up with a more clever name than games and beers but I could do you know just personal bloviate on games I like or don't like under the guise of I'm also having a beer while I do it or several eh, you know because <laughs> <laughs> I could probably I, I'd like to think I'm eloquent enough to vomit out some words so yeah, totally I've thought, that. at one point I had an idea, actually it's kind of funny, basically I had enough of a bad time with Doom Eternal that I had an idea to like, start a blog series of like, what to do and not to do in your video games to make sure the players have a good time. <laughs> um, and in Doom Eternal's case, the answer is don't tell players they're holding it wrong every five seconds. Mm. And force them to play it the one way that Hugo Martin thinks is the right way to play it. It turns out, people derive enjoyment in different ways. What? Mm. No mm. way! Mm. 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 
I can't I believe just, like, I can totally I, don't, I feel like I wouldn't have the time to freaking like write this crap up. I mean, right now I have all the time in the world, but like there's like other stuff that I spend time on that therefore yeah, I, especially, it, you know, the moment that I do actually have a freaking day job again. It does uh, take a concentration of, to of energy to do that sort of thing. Yeah. And Although I feel honestly, like that's the, the prevailing problem is all of us could probably pull off all sorts of fun little projects careful. like that. Whether writing, whether game dev, whether whatever. Mm. But uh, the the wherewithal withdrawal is where we run into problems because it turns out uh, forced participation in capitalism is exhausting. Yep. <sighs> yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that noise says it all. Oh, oh, okay, no, he didn't get away. He got exploded I'm, before no, he I'm got away. No, I'm not in DFS there. yet. Where's my DFS, dude? There it is. Dude, where's my DFS? Maybe, maybe the three of us should team up to do, like... I feel like we could do uh, a, a multi-headed Hydra review system of all the shmups we've been doing or something and, like, expand the SPC on that front. Like, all of the old-timers just come together and... Uh, Everyone just writes a few paragraphs on it at the end of each month or whatever. Now, I don't feel like I would have much to say on the shmup room. I think you'd be surprised. I think we could come together. Oh. Like, we could we could come together and write, like, a little mini feature for each shmup that we've done from the eyes of the people who have played a, a bunch of these over the course of the... Jesus, how long has this been going now? Six years? Uh, Seven years? What are we at now? It is. I present, actually don't know. Presently 2024. When did it start? <laughs> We're on. It how be years I, 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 how long have we been doing this? I feel like it's eight, but that might be too many. No, I don't know. It will be year seven uh, in December. Seven. Seven. There we, we go. Started yeah, we started in December 2017. December 2017. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So we are at. Six and change years. Yeah. I knew eight sounded wrong, but you know, it just came kind of came we tumbling can, out. We can do the backlog as we have time, but I might oh. spend. I'm, I might like try and uh, exercise some long dormant writing chops and start doing just some like written takeaways on all of the. Uh, yeah, some written reviews and all the shit that we've played so far. Yeah. I feel like that could actually be fun and a good way to reflect on oh, unstable, yeah. the uh, quality or in some cases lack thereof <laughs> in some of the games that we've played over the years. The quality with the Q or the quality with the K. We've definitely had way. some that are quality with the K. Oh yeah, we sure have. Uh, Guru Game Boy, what were you up to? Thanks for the raid. I'm probably gonna have to take a break pretty soon, uh, but I do have stuff that I want to check out after this, regardless. If I don't actually end up just attempting more of this, uh, just, one more, just one more, man. Yeah, just one more. Yes, one more. I've been doing Look. that for a long time. <laughs> I'm kind of sick and tired of it. Said you're doing it perfectly. Then that's how the take one the more works. Take inspiration from all of us who are still playing our respective games. Or whatever. I Look, know. I was looking at the at a Rust tutorial. I don't need more recursion. Oh no! Oh, wow. Lordy, oh, buddy, okay. buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> I mean, Rust oh, is just bad so far as I can. Really. Actually, the the I haven't gotten far in it yet. I, I was mostly looking at it because I'm curious about Tori, which is basically what if Electron didn't spend sure. 100 megabytes bundling an entire oh. browser? Okay. Yeah. Um, but Tori uses Rust for like the back end side of it, basically. Ah. They are coming out with 2.0, which apparently also has mobile support, which is interesting, because I don't uh, think Electron ever bothered uh, with that. I will I'll catch up with chat when I have a chance to glance over there. I didn't realize I had DFS again. Uh, I always be DFSing, though. Fire up that DFS. 
Uh, you, gotta, you, I mean, you gotta say that with like, you know. It is in all caps, all isn't caps. it? Though, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that might be too much. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. I mean, it was. It's large text too. I think. It really is. Oh, yeah. Glaylance yeah, yeah, yeah. Glaylance yeah. Glaylance is the right level. In the club. Glaylance is very good. Glaylance yeah. Or, yeah. All right, because I have yeah, a website Glaylance's... up. Glaylancer is uh, a good one. That was a, I feel like one Lancer. of the hardest parts of Glaylancer is the first level because it's hard to start the end if I recall correctly. I think that was one of there those. Are... The Genesis had a fair few shmups with um, questionable visibility yeah. state of yeah. affairs. I mean, when you're blast processing the shit out of everything, you don't care about mundane things like visibility. Yeah, who's got time for that? Shit? Nobody, yeah. apparently. Clearly. Oh, oh, geez, gonna survive that. Huh? Right. Oh, we got another shmup club going on, and he's gonna podcast about it next month. Yeah, you, you're basically nice. there you uh, go. getting the same idea here. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was saying we should start writing about the things that we play, and I'm the like, I don't think I would have enough podcast. ideas for that. All right, well, I can be the change I want to see Whoa. in the world, and I'll start writing some stuff up. Because I've got. I mean, I can write about Super ADF. That's about it. I, ah, oh, Kenny, you sell yourself <laughs> short, man. I feel like you've got opinions on a bunch uh, of the shmups that we've played. Maybe, but I feel like the things I have strong opinions on are usually not the shmups. Hmm. Look, you just gotta find an aspect of the shmup that you like or don't like. Old, the old bluish just fucked off there. I mean, okay. here's the thing. If I feel like I never actually get a firm grasp of its systems, which is the case with a lot of the more modern ones, then I don't feel like I should write about it. You can... Because there's... I mean, I can write about the accessibility issues with Kuro's and the fact that you can't see anything and that, I, you know, RNG dictates the run kind of sometimes. I, I mean, that's an actual, like, mm -hmm, those are valid mm -hmm. takes, so... But that's usually again, my kind of angle, is like, what makes this, you know, what would make this better, or, you know, what, again, what makes this easy to play and stuff I, like, easy to get I, into and stuff like that. I feel like, like this is part of why <laughs> I the thought strikes me that all three of us should be involved in this because I feel like all three of us are going to be focusing on it from different perspectives. Because, like, y'all know me. I'm I'm here for... It's the same old G. Oh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, I get it. But, like, I'm always here for... Dumb... Skip the core cast since mid-2018. You've been going nice. almost as long as we have, yep. <laughs> we started our Shmupa Club in December of 2017. But, uh, like, I'm gonna come at it Pretty from funny. what, like, scoring nonsense can happen, because I'm a sucker for deep scores. You are a sucker for flowcharting scores, really, that's oh, for I sure. got away with that, okay. I'm also, uh, evidently, based on what y'all <laughs> keep fucking <laughs> proclaiming on me, a sucker for lock-on shots, even Look, though I'm not all right. I'm really... That's, uh, nope. I don't really think that oh that's the the crowning like central. Concept well, it's either of that or getting hit by the one bullet on screen. So. <laughs> <pick them up. laughs> See, would you rather have a positive thing or the one bullet thing? I'll never fucking put that <laughs> down. I swear. I'm trying to think, what's the first like stupid meme that? Uh, well, so oh, wait, how, how many memes do the... we have? Obviously, Denier had the 10k. The 10k, I mean, the 10k club still lives And then the oh, turtles, the there was the, the turtles, turtles with the 30k value early. of the turtles in Zone J of Darius. Time. That was before yeah. even my time, so, like, you got, you got that, so. Wait, really? You played Darius. I, I, I thought you were here from the beginning. No, no, no. No, I, I wasn't until May of the following year, I believe. With okay, the, uh, That might have been right after Darius one. With the thing of, uh, shit, what was it called? Kate Sweet. There we go. I remember that clearly, for some dumb reason. Okay, so, yeah, like, May. Yeah, because you play it, you, you put a score in on Axley, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that was that was your start of SBC. So I am playing the Wii version of Karoz, because it's the easy, it, for me it was the easier one to run and not worry about, like, mm -hmm. translation patches and stuff. And from what oh. people have told me, the translation patch doesn't make it make any more sense. Anyway. You're you're not even I mean, like reading the bad English translation one, huh? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's kind of funny. 
Wait, what do you- this has a bad English translation that oh. we're talking about. All of the versions of this game have a oh, bad Oh, I thought there was like an untranslated version that people were playing as well. well no? I mean, for Dreamcast, uh, maybe. The main, the main benefit it. of yeah. the Dreamcast version is oh, the hmm. eye drop uh, icons are also translated. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. There I nice thought I had BFS and I did not. I am sad now. They were nice enough to translate those two. Nice. Okay, but, yeah, but, that would be a good reason, And also, reason, like, actually. the eye catch stuff is translated. Not that it oh, makes okay. any of that make So I've been missing out on those things. No, it doesn't, yeah. but it is very funny. So there's a few extra things that are translated in the fan translation version. But it's not... You're you're fundamentally playing the same game. I mean, not, yeah, of course. not really making that much of a difference. How would I Why know? Why am I using shield? Also, I'm at like literally 0 0.1 of a life. Why am I? And I'm only in. I was only in stage two. Why am I even playing that through? I don't know, man. <laughs> like you were on a roll with something, perhaps. Evidently. Your Game Boy. You have uh uh one, two, three, four <laughs> days. To get a score in Karos, if you want to throw it in on the book club. Give, give old David Caruso a shot. You never know. David fucking Caruso. Fucking. Oh, goddamn. Just throwing oh, all these away. Oh, my God. Kenny, can I uh, drop the. Oh, yeah. Because I'm dumb and didn't it. actually put it in my title. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay, I got you, fam. I was just making sure you didn't have a bot that was gonna smack me no, in the head or whatever. <laughs> oh, you have a trip. Okay. Hope that goes well. Also, that reminds me, I was gonna fucking rewrite the um the the doc guess, thing. Uh, uh, yeah, the doc thing to add the additional. Oh, I can add the additional system. systems. If that's what mm. you're talking about. But I was gonna rewrite it because there's some other like random bits and pieces that are a little bit out of date, and I wanted to update them. And I just totally forgot I was intending to tag. <laughs> I think I have that in Markdown, so I could like give you the source version. Oh yeah, if if you have a if it's just being done through Markdown, that's even easier. I know how to, I know how to do a Markdown. How. How difficult would it be to uh, expand to this proposed review idea that I want to play around with so I can... Yeah, get I to, haven't like, really thought about that too hard yet. And the other funny, <laughs> the funny thing actually is like, I never actually, I was I was migrating it to Astro and I never completely finished testing that. Um, but either way, basically, like I've been using that as one of the things that I test new frameworks with. Um, since it's like one of the more complicated things one of, one of the more complicated personal projects I have that's like makes a good test project for things. Mm -hmm. um, and basically like everything that I've ported it to supports MDX and stuff. Um, the big thing would be like if you need some kind of web UI for actually writing stuff, I'd have to add that. <laughs> I, I mean, fire up VS Code I'd... with a markdown preview and that's probably good enough. Yeah. yeah. I was I was gonna say if you have markdown rendering any of the people on this call, if we're submitting our thoughts, I think all of us are comfortable enough with Markdown. We can just edit the Markdown in our uh, Markdown previewy editor of choice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that yeah, the only catch is like it's MDX. Some things are slightly different sometimes. Look, as long as it's not can... Slack's poor fucking excuse for Markdown, oh, God. it'll oh, yeah, probably no. be fine. No, MDX does weird things with like things that couldn't be like I had to do weird things with lists and stuff, although I think I've managed yeah. to get around that for the most part now. I like how Markdown is ostensibly supposed to be a standard or a standard ish, <laughs> and yet we've oh, got well. about There uh, are fifteen competing I standards. Say seventeen yeah. competing standards right, of the right, same right, standard. Right. And there, there, there's GFM, there's uh, I forget which one it's there even one, but... more XKCD standards comic yeah. than usual, though, which is what makes it kind of funny. Because, like, oh, I don't think it's what supposed to be one standard, to and we still have 17 standards of the one standard. Mm -hmm. It's not even mm -hmm. 17 different standards. Uh, the entire software industry is stupid. 
<laughs> and everyone in this call probably wholeheartedly agrees. Oh yeah, I mean we, we live <laughs> we live it, so of course we, we understand. understand deeply oh, the oh. um terribleness that is this entire industry. Oh, that guy's still alive. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Did we get we got here to do science potentially, but if I take a hit, I'm dead. <laughs> so ah. the question is, will things end up hitting me from the side? True. Uh, I mean, I guess just take care that they don't. I mean, <laughs> can they? Yes. Will they? Uh, maybe. Depends on your positioning. I have to use here, but I'm not confident that... We're just going to sit here and see what happens. And if I survive, it'll be funny. See if the building grows legs and wanders off? Yeah, I know. That's what I want to see. Is like, if it's just like, you know what? I'm not waiting for you to make me show up. <laughs> I think you've basically seen everything this phase is going to do. I think you're going to be safe. And I wonder how dependent is it is hilarious. on exactly where you are on the bottom. Like, did I just get yeah, lucky? Yeah, you, you just mm. found the exact yeah. perfect position where you're going to actually block all the shots oh, or everything's going to kind of pass harmlessly around you. Because, like, some of those big shots come kind of close, but they don't hit you because you'd have been hit already. Like many different times over yeah just don't do a oh, panic don't tell me don't tell me each phase has its own timeout yup ha uh, so i'm screwed oh so it <laughs> does it does actually screwed, yeah. does it explode into a walker yeah, thing the wall just explodes into the walker <laughs> thing it's pretty funny yeah. it would it would have been more funny if the walker also just pieced out immediately yeah that would oh, be wow. pretty good <laughs> it was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. On further thought, you know what? I didn't. I, I have to go water the cat, man. You know, like, yeah. I don't got time for this right now. It's kind of hoping it would wear the building as a hat and just walk off, but no. <laughs> just can't get that. Uh, we're not allowed to have nice things. No, here, you know? no entertainment allowed. If I actually manage to survive this by doing this, this is gonna gonna be one hell of a shit post, but my score is nowhere near good, so it doesn't really matter. Oh hey, just yep, get through. Yeah, wandered off. Get through stage four and you'll be fine. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll probably die immediately. I wonder how much of the game you can get through just using shield, like just like doing nothing. Ah, pacifist run with David Caruso. That'd be interesting. Actually, follow him. I'm sure someone has done that. Yeah, probably, yeah. Seems like a dumb human thing to do. Oh, is that thing not dead? Ooh, shh, what? Okay, now it's dead. I would, I would like to have DFS. Nope, I got it right as I died. Cool. <laughs> that's what usually happens. Okay, I think that's enough of this after that shit post. Ha, fair enough. See, uh, there you go. You got the one more in there and the shit post. <laughs> that's the way to do it. That's only the second time I've seen stage four, so. Although I managed to get further than that the first time I saw I'm pretty sure I got the mid-boss. Right, I got the mid-boss, it fired a laser, and then I died. <laughs> so Glaylancer is the interesting one because you can you can infinitely like you can counter stop Glaylancer. Uh I think it's the stage nine boss. Uh it's the, it's the run -up section to the stage yeah, boss. Yeah, it's the I section think. immediately before the stage. Well no, nine but boss. if you can actually Park yourself in the lower left corner of the stage nine boss, and you can counter stop it there. Oh, you'll oh, have to leave okay. the game running for twenty six hours or something. I think. Oh yeah, <laughs> good. What you have to do. Exactly I'm, what I want to uh, do. 
I'm reminded of Icarus doing similar for R-Type 3. There's a spot, I think it's, I don't remember if you have to do it in the second loop or not, but one of the late state, like the late game bosses, uh, if you don't destroy it, it doesn't have a timeout and enemies oh. spawn that give you points. So you can just park in just the right spot with auto fire running oh, no. uh, to kill all the enemies before they hit you and counter stop it that way. I think in the the leaderboards, I actually have marked that Icarus did a naughty, naughty t uh, counter stop. Oh right. yeah, I think you're right actually. <laughs> Uh... Stage six. I forget which one is stage six. But yeah, it's the boss that has like the two turrets. Is it two turrets or four turrets in front? I forget. And the thing is, the uh. turrets just 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 infinitely regenerate. So like, if you get in the, if you get in a spot where the turrets don't happen to hit you, and you have a weapon that's long range enough, uh, you can just keep destroying turrets for 26 hours and counter stuff. Excellent. So yeah, when we did that one for the Shmupa Club, we kind of had to like encourage people to be reasonable and not like intentionally take because like yeah, there is also the it's section. The, the many blocks, uh, the many breakable blocks section right before that, where, like, you can mm -hmm. end up, like, constantly you, getting yeah, a ton you of points net, there, too. Yeah, you, you can just net gain get more points on that particular section. So, like, you get, you get enough points for an extend, plus a little bit more, so you just keep on doing that over and over again. Ah. It, in general, the SVC has kind of a, uh, implicit standing rule of don't be a dick about it. So, like, don't do excessive, uh, score, like, it, don't, don't do any infinite score milks, don't do, like, any massive exploits, like, use your best judgment, etc., etc., is kind of the rule behind it, but it's never really been a problem, so we've pretty much had it been on a case-by-case -case basis where it's like, okay, just, like, don't be a dick. <laughs> You can also milk the big insect sack box by only shooting the little paws that come out of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that one's got a lot of them, apparently. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna call Karoz there, I think. I might try it more over the weekend or something, maybe. We'll see what happens. Yeah, but, I might do the same. Uh, I, wasn't doing, I wasn't doing good at it tonight, but I do kind of want to see if I can at least push to a billion. Hmm. <laughs> Get that ten digits. All right, ten digits, baby. <laughs> I'll see you guys later on the call. All right, All right. take care, Kenny. See ya. Yep. Sure. So how is uh, Blue Wish going? Has Not. It, has it crashed on you a bunch? Are you? Uh, is it functional? It, it crashed once for some reason. I don't understand why. <sighs> okay, very good. But it's been generally stable. It's just my runs have been garbo. Got ah. to stage four like maybe twice. I'm trying to do the. It's a rough night for schmuffs for all of us. Apparently. Yeah, I'm trying to do auto guard off, but that seems to have been a poor choice. Oh, I'm, wow. I'm still honestly pretty impressed that I managed to get a uh, one CC on guard off like night one. <laughs> <laughs> My scores on both guard on and guard off are apparently mediocre. I mean, but uh, you, you got them both, so that's pretty good. I got I got both alls in short order, so I can't really be too upset.
so it's going well over there. It is not, no. To the point of, well, that was an okay stage one, but no, yeah, then you die, and it's just like, well, it doesn't <laughs> well, fucking shit. matter how it went, does it? Video games continue to be hard. They are definitely being themselves. I was trying to be ultra aggressive and get the little cube generator thing as soon as they pop in, but. Be aggressive. Then the be bullets. Aggressive. And the bullets are like, hey, hi, how are you? We exist. I'm like, yeah, you sure do. Perform an aggression. <laughs> one parentheses, one, one aggression. One aggression. Oh, that didn't hit me, but alright. One random thing that amuses me about Blue Wish is that they've got different, like, an option is different noises for the fucking key pickups. Like, it just, it feels like such a delightfully unnecessary option, and that's part of what amuses me about it. Just the cube pickups, though? Not anything else? I believe so, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. Like, if you go, like, once, once this... If this run comes to a premature end or whatever... Oh, it will. Don't worry about that. Um, pop into the options screen before you start your next one. My favorite... My other favorite part about it is in true, like, mid-aughts Japanese doujin game fashion... It's just like type 1, type 2, type 3, and mm -hmm. there's no preview, mm -hmm. and there's like no way to uh, actually know what it sounds like without just booting up a fucking Ex credit with the different options. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, mid aughts Japanese doujin game. Yeah, I they mean, don't got yeah. time to like add quality of life shit like preview for sound effects. We, we ain't got time for that. The game's still great, too, which is always the hilarious part. Like, the actual quality of the game itself is fantastic, but the, like, menu and setup polish is always, like, this <laughs> super fucking janky bullshit. Just on a consistent basis. Like, it's just a cultural thing. But it's very funny to me. When you're meant to spend probably the majority of your time in the game and not in the menus, that, that kind of tracks. Sure, sure. But it's always like the the weird little places where there's a lack of polish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's a consistent set of places where that lack of polish uh, shines through.
done playing Karaus for the night, and by that I mean I've stopped like <laughs> 15 minutes ago. But it might be a good night to vibe with a little bit of Pika Yun, maybe. That could be fun, because I don't have to think too hard about playing that. Is that one uh, of the can... ones you told me about? Yeah, that's the one I yeah. was telling you about that's like got some sick breakbeats and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one on my list, and I am approaching the necessity of a new normal stream game so that might be on there I, I think you'd vibe with it Whatever disaster struck bad enough to restart, or you just go. No, I'm just gonna play it out. Up to stage three, I may as well finish it off. Ah, uh, yeah, makes sense. There, glad it proved me right. Slid right over into me somehow. Slid right into a slim gym. Mm. That's different than snapping into a slim gym. I wonder how that goes. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. 
Oh boy. Excuse me. Oh, why? Oh, this pattern should not be that wide. Thank you. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Okay, let's take a quick spin through the weird noises. <laughs> Since I'm clearly not making any progress. Uh, all right. Bullet color, item color, enemy shot SC. Beat SC, item SC. There we go. Item SC, yeah. Type the other one, ones, I guess you can turn them off, but or you cannot three. adjust them. Okay, type two then. <laughs> This is going to be like a bicycle horn every time. Oh, uh, kind <laughs> of, actually. All right. Um, Wait, I got to see which one. OK, you know what? That's not bad. I don't I don't mind it. <laughs> Hope for like a clown, a clown nose for type three would be funny. I actually kind of like the higher contrast of this one for the audio part of it. I don't remember which one I ended up choosing. Because there's a, there's three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that one's not bad. Let's see what type three's about. Hmm, I don't like that one as much. I think I actually ended up going with Type 3. Yeah? I, hmm. I don't know, I like it. But it reminds me of a different noise that I don't remember where I heard it from, but I don't know. Yeah, it was a good noise. So, I don't know. Yeah, fair, I guess. I don't know. Like everything else, it's it's greatly subjective, but the fact that it's even an option is kind of neat in yeah, its own right. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's kind of got like the Windows XP log off noise vibe going on with it. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe next time I pick this up I'll switch back to Type 2. And maybe that will assist my playing. I doubt it, but you know, hope springs. For the shot. Oh, didn't even get on the board with any of those. That's embarrassing. Because I'm not yeah, submitting any of that. Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> oh well. Well, I'm gonna call it there for tonight then. Fair enough. Did we end up having a a no PB night? I, that's a sad. Yeah, day. I think so. Unfortunate, but oh well, that happens. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, have a good one. Well, that'll do it for the old SBC tonight, I suppose. Uh, we tried our best with the blue wish, and it's you know wishes don't come true every every SBC, I guess. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Sunday, 7 p.m. CST. It'll be long play. So, uh, Assault Android Cactus, some speedruns, some Infinity Drive, some fun, etc. And then Monday, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be back here with uh, Talos Principle 2. We've got endgame-ish stuff to do, I think. I think we're finally at the endgame. Um, that should be pretty fun. It might bleed into Wednesday, too. Who knows? The, the puzzles prove very difficult. We'll have to extend it to a, a second night. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Sunday. Bye-bye.